Hey guys, welcome to this video on the Passionate Few channel. I'm Omar Alatar, host and creator of the Passionate Few. And today, if you haven't checked out the channel, make sure to subscribe and enjoy this video because in it, I'm gonna be answering the question of how the heck did I, a random dude who was broke, lost, depressed, got broken up with at rock bottom, not just started a show, but how I in particular got an interview with the 44, 44th, I should say, wealthiest man in America. Mr. John Paul DeJoria. And for those of you that don't know, John Paul just sold the company Patron Tequila for $5.1 billion in January of 2019, I believe, early 2019. And uh, he's also the co founder of Paul Mitchell. You guys might know them for their shampoos or conditioners. And you guys can check out that interview if you want to in the description below, or there should be a pop up here. But basically, I'm going to be sharing with you guys in depth how I got an interview with a billionaire, a huge billionaire that I had no access to, no network to. And to be quite frank with you, no clue how to even get in touch with him in the first place. Same way as when I started my show, you know, I had no idea how to do a podcast. I had no idea how to interview big guests. I just knew that there was an expression out there and you probably heard it, that your network equals your net worth. And I realized like I wanted to build a bigger network and I realized accidentally that podcasting could do that. And if you know me, then you know, I, I got a couple of big interviews first and foremost. And you know, I got Tom Billy, the billion dollar creator, uh, Quest Bars, and then I got the creator of Hot Cheetos, and then I got these other multi-millionaires, billion dollar founder of the Ugg, uh, Ugg Boots Company, and all these names up and up and up. And as I sort of moved up the ladder, I realized a lot of times I could network my way indoors, but when it came to a billionaire of that caliber, like John Paul DeJoria, who at the time of this video, uh, was probably just a few months ago that we put the interview out. But depending on when you're watching this, you've seen all the guests we've had on the channel. And I just wanna share with you this little mindset hack of how I did it. Anyways, now that I give you that little intro, Basically, the way I got in touch with John Paul DeJoria was a little bit unconventional. And when I teach people how to network effectively, whether it's podcasting or life or business or when I'm invited to speak at various events, um, invariably people ask me, Omar, how do we network? Can you come teach our group how to network? What I always tell people is that there's several ways to do it. And there's three ways that I like to dominantly go uh, and use because they work. Uh, number one is going to be the social media approach. Right, either uh, through email, Instagram, Facebook, try to connect that way. Uh, the second approach is to actually cold call. Cold call and look for opportunities or ways in based on talking to the right person, the right assistant, whatever it is. And um, third thing is in-person interaction. When I say in-person interaction, it's either that particular individual that you'd like to network with or maybe someone in their circle, a friend, a family member who can make that intro in person. And in my personal opinion, the last one, although it's the most rare at high caliber levels, actually the easiest and what I mean by that is that in this particular situation with the billionaire uh, John Paul I obviously he didn't have a social media that I could message him that he'd respond back uh, you know obviously I'm not gonna cold call because I'm just a random guy cold calling a billionaire so what the hell do you want who are you uh, but third thing is the in-person thing and that worked marvelously because as fate would have it and this is why I believe that the universe when you set intentions and goals will send you things you couldn't even anticipate in perfection. You couldn't even reverse engineer. And if you stay till the end of this very video, you'll hear how it all unfolded and what it was like to interview the billionaire. But basically, it literally started out from a personal trainer. I hired a personal trainer and I had no idea that he would actually be connected to um, a family who had been in business uh, with John Paul. Now, I won't mention who it is, but what I will tell you is that it was a regular friend that I had seen all the time. We knew I had a show, knew I had a podcast, and literally just never thought to even mention or ask because to him that relationship was regular. And this is why I want to encourage you guys if you're trying to learn how to network, whether it's for your own podcast or for your own business or how to find clients like high net worth individuals to network with, don't underestimate the circle that's in front of you. Don't underestimate your Uber driver this week or last week or next week is you know connections. That person might be way more connected than you realize. But if you don't have the courage to open up a conversation or ask, you'll never find out. Anyways, so uh, I'm, I'm at the gym and I'm, and I'm with this buddy and we start talking. He's like, oh yeah, I know, I know JP. And I'm like, JP, I'm like, and he's like, yeah, John Paul. I'm like, John Paul DeJoria, the billionaire guy, you know, America's favorite entrepreneur. And he's like, uh, he's like, yeah, dude, his story's crazy. He was homeless twice. He lived in his car. And if anybody knows me, you know that I love rags to riches stories. I have a little bit of a humbling story myself, but I'm fascinated by not just hearing inspiring stories, but sharing them with people like yourself all around the world. So he mentions that John Paul DeJoria, you know, multi-billionaire, 44 wealthiest man in America, just sold Patron Tequila for 5.1 billion. Um, yeah, I know. 
And I'm like, dude, you know I have a podcast. Like, you know I'm always dying to network with huge names and interview them. Like, how'd you not let me know? And he's like, oh, you want me to uh, connect you? You want me to put you in touch with the people to make it happen? I was like, yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm not joking. Two weeks later, I interviewed the guy. Literally, my buddy connected me to a friend of a friend who knew the assistant and sent an inquiry to the assistant, showed that I had a body of work with my interviews, right, already. So that helped a little bit. Um, and they were like, yeah, sure, uh, we'll do a favor for a friend. And that favor ended up getting me inside the door with my team uh, to meet John Paul DeJoria. And on your screen right now, you see some behind the scenes photos from that day, but it was literally mind blowing what was possible just because I had the courage to ask. So literally this video was intended for me to just kind of hop on here and share with you that there are so many powers of just taking action and asking people to make introductions, getting curious, letting people know what your goals are, what your ambitions are. But literally, no crazy story. But the reason that it's important for you to hang on to the end of this video and sort of, if you listen to this part, I wanna let you know that there's more content coming and I'll get more in depth. But I just wanna hop on here, I'm in a nice little jacuzzi. And if you guys like this content, be sure to like it, subscribe, comment, let me know any questions you guys have. I'm always happy to answer you guys with any questions you have, but this is one I get a lot and that's how I got to sit down with a billionaire. Uh, of that caliber like John Paul DeJoria. And let's check out this view, by the way. It's freaking beautiful. But anyways, that's how I did it. I literally um, have gone through dozens of rejections, if not hundreds of rejections to try to get interviews, uh, to try to network when I started, try to find a mentor, right? Trying to get in the door, try to teach me this, try to teach me that. And I realized that it's hard to get in the door with anybody if you're not adding some sort of value. And, Podcasting just kind of ended up accidentally being that medium. And yeah, I built a personal brand and we built a multiple, you know, very healthy multiple six figure business around it. And, you know, other podcasters do that all the time. And I, I and I coach people how to do their own podcasts and I have my own podcast accelerator uh, course, which you can actually check out in the description below where you can learn more about how to do that, how to accelerate your own process, the easy way to have your own podcast. But literally, when I started, I had no idea. Like, I was more clueless than you as you watch this. I didn't even. I thought podcasting sounded intimidated, equipment, I gotta do all this stuff. And I realized it's actually a lot simpler than I had thought initially. And the reality of it was that if I could just put a team together and figure out the easy way to do interviews, then it would give me an excuse to have access to people. And that excuse has now lasted beyond a year, two years, now we're at three years. And so um, that was probably the first like mental realization that this stuff works. And so then what I did was I literally just scaled it and I just kept going on and on and on, getting to the next interview, getting to the next interview. And every single time I did one, it would just escalate the level of it. So literally you'll be blown away at what happens when you can build value, build a body of work and scale upwards and just have the courage to ask people to make introductions for you. Like the expression goes, your network equals your net worth. And it's true not just because in podcasting you can interview them, but think about the relationship that's built. Think about the in-between conversations that we had the good fortune of having with John Paul. And in another video, if you guys subscribe to the channel, I'll go over the top five things I learned from John Paul DeJoria. Uh, being with him in person that day for a few hours, it was access that people usually pay tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars to be with. And if any of you guys know me, my, my personal friends always kind of jab at me for this, but it's funny that I've literally got to sit down with over $10 billion worth of entrepreneurs and I've never paid a single penny. And I don't say that to impress you, I say it to impress upon you what's possible when you come from a place of value, are not afraid to add value to other people, and you just have the confidence to ask. I never even would have believed it would be possible to connect with somebody like John Paul. I mean, I'm just a regular dude who had a dream to start this podcast. No clue how to do it, no clue how to monetize it. To be honest, I just love to do it. And so, you know, when you do things consistently over a long period of time, doors open up. So. Bottom line takeaways from this video is I want you to jot down three things, okay? And if you hung on for this long, I wanna let you know, I'm happy to answer any questions you guys have. Literally, I'm crazy enough to film this video in a jacuzzi, so make sure to comment below, like, subscribe, and share this video. But basically, the top three things for you to take away are number one, always communicate to the world what your goals are. What do you want? What do you want? If you don't have the courage to declare to the world what you want, declare to others what you want, how are others gonna have the courage to help you do that? So number one, declare to yourself and the world what you want, okay? Number two, realize that your network equals your net worth. And if you never connect with people, you're missing out on a huge opportunity for wisdom, opportunity, business, money, impact. And if you never you know, reach out to other people, you never know what happens. So have the courage to ask. If you never know the answer, 
Uh, I'm sorry, if you never ask, the answer will always be no. And if you never try, you'll never have a chance. That's the second thing. And then number three, last thing is have confidence and just take a shot. Be trigger happy a little bit. Take action a little bit more uh, than you would have because you never know who around you is literally having access to the people that you would only like dream of. So like, it's it was literally that simple. I literally was like, at the gym, we're working out, we were talking about entrepreneurship, and he was like, oh, who would you like to interview? And I'm like, oh, these billionaires and this billionaire. And he was like, oh yeah, you know, I know JP, right? He's like, John Paul DeJore? He's like, yeah. I'm like, can you email him today, like right now? And he was like, yeah, let me talk to people. And literally two weeks later, we ended up doing it. And if you click the link below, you'll see that it reached over 100 and I think like 50,000 people at the time of this, if not more than that. And that's just on YouTube, not including all the other platforms on the Passion Few podcast. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to hop on here, share a little bit of a brainstorm for you guys. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm here in the jacuzzi, going to create more content, doing fun stuff. But those are the big takeaways. You never know who close to you has access to people. You just have the courage to ask them, like, hey, can you connect me with this person? So communicate to the world what you want. Number two, go out there and don't be afraid to network, ask questions. I myself am an introvert. I'm naturally not an extrovert, but I'm so committed to my goals and my vision that that makes me want to go out and communicate to the world what I want. And as a result, the universe communicates back. If I don't have the courage to ask, I'll never have the courage reciprocated to receive. So remember that. And number three, just have the balls, have the confidence to go out there and try to get it, even if you gotta borrow confidence. Um, it's amazing. It's amazing what can happen. So anyways, guys, just wanna hop on here. That's how I got to sit down with John Paul DeJoria, the multi-billionaire. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys have any specific questions with networking, don't worry, it's coming. I hear you guys. But thanks for hanging on this long. Again, it's Omar Alatar, host from Fear of the Passion Infinite Podcast. Be sure to subscribe to the podcast. Uh, like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Comment below any questions you have. I'm happy to answer. Uh, and also, don't forget to check out the High Ticket Podcast Accelerator, where I teach you guys how to do what I did and go from exactly where you're at right now and start your own high ticket podcast, whether virtually or in person. Um, that's the gateway. That's the quickest way to do it. A lot of people sell courses on it, but... Over the last three years, I've learned the simple way to start your own podcast, build your own personal brand, connect you with your dream guests, and literally create more impact than you ever thought even possible. Plus, there's a 100% money back guarantee on it. Uh, so that's my 30-day no-risk guarantee to you guys. So anyways, just want to remind you that. You can check that out in the description below. Take action on that, and I'll see you guys uh, inside the High Ticket Podcast Accelerator if you want more info on that. But other than that, go out there, network, and uh, if not, check back tomorrow because I'm going to be giving away free value every week. Take care guys. God bless. Have a good one. If you guys enjoyed that video, be sure to hit that subscribe button right now because every week we bring you the very best in personal development content, interviews, and insights to help inspire you to take your life and your dreams and make them a reality. And also, if you want to know how to book dream guests the same way I have, you can check the link below for my top three secrets. So if you have a podcast or a show or whatever it is and you want to collaborate with them, if you click that link below, I'll give you those top three secrets to help you get in touch with anybody. And also, don't forget that The Passionate View is available on media platforms as well. So you can subscribe to the podcast. And until next time, thank you for being one of The Passionate Few.